Want to speak real Japanese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at JapanesePod101.com. Hi, everybody, Hiroko here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Japanese questions. The question for this lesson is How do I express gratitude in Japanese correctly at work? There are so many ways to express gratitude in Japanese. お疲れ様でした。ご苦労様でした。お手数をおかけしました。How do you know which ones to use and when? These expressions are all used for appreciation, but there are distinct differences. Let's go over them one by one. The phrase お疲れ様でした is used to pay respect to someone who worked hard or did a good job. It's a phrase used amongst colleagues and co workers casually or humbly with people in higher positions. It shows respect for everyone and the work that they do. The phrase, ご苦労様でした on the other hand, is used to recognize the efforts of someone in a lower position than you. For example, you can use it when receiving a package from a delivery person at your house. As a customer, You're considered to be in a higher position. Lastly, we have the phrase, お手数をおかけしました This phrase is also used to thank people for their efforts, but has an apologetic tone as if someone put in a lot of effort to help you. It can often be used with an apology, 申し訳ありませんでした Let's go through some examples so you can learn how to use these phrases correctly. First, with お疲れ様でした部長、会議はもう終わったんですかお疲れ様でした。Oh, department chief, has the meeting finished already? You must be tired. Here, a person in a higher position is coming back from an important meeting. Therefore, you are showing respect for his or her hard work. Now, let's do an example with ご苦労様でした。配達ご苦労様でした。This phrase literally translates as, thank you for your work of delivery. Here you are appreciating the work done by the person who has delivered your package. Again, as a customer, you are in the higher position. Last, let's do an example with, お手数をおかけしました。お手数をおかけし、申し訳ありませんでした。This phrase literally translates as, I apologize for bothering you and giving you some extra work to go through. Here, you are recognizing the effort someone went through a lot to help you. Once you start getting the hang of Japanese, you realize that a simple arigato is really not enough to get your point across. Although none of these phrases are required for any situation, learning the nuances and appreciating their meanings bring you one step closer to really understanding Japanese. How was this lesson? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. Mata ne!